Hi there and welcome to our next video which is a continuation from our last video on atoms, elements and compounds and in this video we're going to be looking at exam questions. So let's get started. Our first exam question states an atom of nitrogen has an atomic number of 7 and a mass number of 14. Give the number of protons, electrons and neutrons in this atom. And this question is worth 3 marks. So, let's find nitrogen on the periodic table. It's over here. And the atomic number is 7 and the mass number is 14. I've put the periodic table on here because in an exam you will always be given a periodic table. So, the protons will equal 7. The electrons is always the same as the protons this will equal 7 as well and the neutrons is the relative atomic mass subtract the atomic number so in this case it would be 14 subtract 7 and that would give you 7 so we have 7 protons 7 electrons and 7 neutrons Having all those three correct will give you these three marks. Next question. How many atoms are in one particle of Na2CO3? So, we have two particles of sodium and we have three of um, CO. So, we have five in total. We just add the two to the three and we have five. That will give you one mark. A compound has the formula CaCl2. Name the compound and the elements it contains. So, the co well, if we can find out the elements it contains, then we can combine those two elements to find out the name of the compound. So, we have Ca, that is calcium. So, we have calcium, Ca, and we have Cl2, which is chlorine. When chlorine is reacting, it becomes chloride. So now we just combine these two names together. We get calcium chloride as the name of the compound. And having part one correct and part two correct will get you two marks. Next question, which of these is the smallest particle an atom a molecule a speck of dust a molecule contains more atoms a speck of dust contains more atoms as well so the simple answer to this would be an atom that will get you one mark next question approximately how many elements are there so in the periodic table there are we've gone through this in our previous video um, there are approximately a hundred elements that will get you one mark next question which one is a compound water hydrogen and or helium so hydrogen is in the periodic table remember the periodic table only contains elements and in our previous question we know that there are a hundred elements in the periodic table so hydrogen is in the periodic table and it's an element helium is also in the periodic table and this means it's an element as well water on the other hand its formula is h2o which is oxygen and hydrogen so it has two elements together which makes it a compound next question which of these contains two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms so carbon is C and hydrogen is H so we need two carbon at, um, atoms over here we only have one carbon atom so it can't be this one over here you have two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms so we know that this one is correct this one won't be correct because we have two carbon atoms but we have four hydrogen atoms so this would be incorrect and that will get you one mark next question which of these contains four hydrogen atoms 
so hydrogen is h over here um there are three hydrogen atoms over here and one hydrogen atoms over here so three plus one equals four so we know that this one is going to be the correct one this one only contains two hydrogen atoms and this one only contains two as well so that will get you one mark our final question how many atoms are there in total in a molecule of sulfur trioxide so3 so it's given us the formula over here we have one atom of sulfur and we have three atoms of oxygen so we have sulfur plus oxygen plus oxygen plus oxygen so we have one two three four we have four atoms in total and that will get you one mark and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe and hit the like button